Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Prestige Auto House. We have a beautiful Ferrari 458 Italia today, 2011. Finished in Nero with Nero Alcantara interior. It was beautifully designed by Pini Farina, one of the iconic designs. And um, the interior of this car was designed uh, directorship with uh, Donato Coco who has had a lot of input by F1 previous Formula driver, Michael Schumacher. Quite special car, it's a rear mid-engine car, rear wheel drive, seven speed transmission, zero to 100 in 3.4 seconds with a naturally aspirated engine, 4.5 liter, and represents a beautiful collectability. You know, they produced these cars between 2009 and 2015 just looks beautiful so this is a very detailed design and input was put in into this car it's a successor of Ferrari F430 and totally different design interior exterior it was one of the first production cars which came to the new generation which was only offered in a dual clutch transmission so there was no manual option for 458s so death of an era comparably to Ferrari F430, which had manual option and a dual clutch. 458 in the Ferrari collector market, it's considered to be more collectible than a 488, purely because of its natural aspirated full engine. And if we have to compare this to Lamborghinis, Murcielagos or Aventadors or any of the similar era cars, you can see that Ferrari's the 458, it's got all the curves, more curvy, not as sharp and aggressive edging like Lamborghinis have. Makes it much smoother. And Ferraris were known for their smoothness in design. Even in a parallel year of production cars, they always gave the extra curving. The exhaust pipes, the three exhaust pipe entry from the back, which is quite iconic, finished in a beautiful carbon with a clear glass back, the engine cover gives you that visual beauty of Ferrari's craftsmanship. Full carbon fiber airbox. And of course, the red heads. Even the air intakes, there is no sharp angles here. It's round up. And the interior is so welcoming. Just the fact that to know that Michael Schumacher had a lot of input in the interior design, it makes it quite special. Finished in Alcantara. And as you can see, it has all the contrast stitching in a nice yellow. So interior cockpit, once you sit in it, you automatically have this full feel of F1 racing, fast cars, performance. The Teco is finished in beautiful yellow color, matching the Ferrari logo emblem. Starting those cars, Ferrari 458s were still with the key, so you have to put the key inside, turn it, foot on a brake, and then you have the engine start button on a steering wheel. So you just press the start. You have this beautiful Ferrari Raul engine. So if we go back to the basics, the horns on this car are on left and right side of steering wheel, making it quite good driving position, very handy with your thumb. So you just do that and the indicators, they also press button indicators, so it's on a steering wheel for right or for left. And then you have your five drive modes. Obviously wet driving, so when the roads are wet, then you have your normal sports, and this is race, and this one's already goes traction off and a full race mode for launch and everything else in a high speed driving in the track. I like to drive these cars usually on a sports mode. It gives the better sound for the exhaust and the whole handling of the car, it's fully the sporty. 
full dual zone climate control, passenger and driver side. Then in here you have the full transmission that's in auto mode. Once you press that, you drive seven speed dual clutch transmission completely takes over. To reverse the car, you press the R button. And obviously this is quite self-explanatory. This is a launch button. This is where all the fun begins. This particular car is also has um, fitted with a lift kit, which makes it quite easy and handy to drive in to a lot of basements or high road areas. So I'll demonstrate it now. You can see it. I'll press the button and you can see the nose of the car goes up. This section here is for full trip computer, for the VDA, for status of the car and all the setups that you need to do. So if we go to the status, it just gives you the oil, oil temperature, pressure, the water temperature. And this is for the lap times, for a full sports mode, then you can just time your laps, speeds. This is for the lights and the suspension button. Gives you in a sports mode, so once you press it, it goes in a bumpy roads. You can fully climatize the suspension system to the road. Windscreen wipers are here through the button with the plus, minus, back function and a front function. On the right hand side, we have another control system which goes in with the main menu. Let's take it for a drive. Four hundred nineteen kilowatts and five hundred sixty-two horsepower. So, comparing our previous two videos, which we did for um, Murcielago and the Diablo, being a much newer production car, two thousand eleven, next generation. Obviously, the driving is much smoother, ergonomically designed a bit differently. It's it's much tighter. You can see it's much neater. Obviously, technology is uh, next generation and uh, it's something you can't actually compare to both of them they're, they're very different cars it's very hard to choose which one would you want if you ask me i like to keep all of them it picks it up quite quick finds its way you know it, it it's a beautiful daily driver car especially on a Melbourne roads, you activate the, the suspension, which will be much more giving on a bumpy roads. It gives you very smooth driving. Comparing to all the generation supercars, this picks up much faster. This era of production cars became a bit more reliable. So um, you wouldn't see too many hiccups with those cars. 458s were quite good. And uh, you, you wouldn't have the general issues you'll have with the other supercars of previous generations. The pickup against the F430 with the 458 was totally newly designed car. Exterior and interior, everything was different. And uh, they basically started from a scratch, even though the design of this car was quite heavily relied on one of Enzo's uh, all-time designs and, and they got that into perspective and as we know configurations of the cars the testarossas 458s and many other ones but the fact that the transmission was only offered in a seven speed dual clutch that made a big difference from F430 to Ferrari 458. The market actually loved it, knowing that this is what they've got offered now, and uh, they all moved on with the times. Lamborghini is the same, you know, after all the Huracans and Aventadors, they were all in the, in the dual clutch, or no manuals were offered.
Thank you for watching our videos. Stay tuned. Next week, we'll be having uh, C63 versus E63 AMG.